In today's video, we'll talk about Windows 11 22 H2 must see new features. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. While Microsoft was expected to ship some of the updates with 22 H2 update, and we were expecting some of the updates in terms of the user interface, background processes, and some feature improvements along with some additional features. The next update for Windows 11 is expected till October, and Microsoft has announced some of the updates in February, but the major updates are expected to be arrived till October. In case if you want to see and if you want to experience some of those updates that you will get in October, you can go with the Windows 11 Insider Preview program and then you will have some of the updates earlier. Now let's see what are those updates and how they looks like. I will start with the start menu. The first update that has been done in start menu is if you click on your start menu button and from here if you go to your power option. Here you can see we have one more option in here that says sign in options. Earlier we do not have this menu here. If you just click on it, it will open the settings for your sign in options and you have different things like you can set your password, picture password, you can do additional settings related to your sign in options. So that's a really good thing. Well now Microsoft has changed one more thing and if you click on your start menu button again and now if you go to your all app section. Here we have a new folder or you can say new directory with the name of accessibility. If you just click on it, you can access different utilities of your Windows 11. Earlier, Microsoft used to have Windows Ease of Access folder and it used to be under the W category. But now we do not have any that sort of thing. Now they have changed it to accessibility. The next update or the next change that Microsoft has done is if you right click on your start menu button or if you press Windows plus X key, it will open quick links menu. From here, earlier we used to have apps and features, but now Microsoft has changed its name and they have added installed app instead of it. So just click on it and it will open all the applications that have been installed into your Windows 11. I will talk about this in more detail later in this video. Now let's see some of the changes that have been done in terms of the taskbar. Well, first of all, if you go to your notification center by clicking on your clock or your date, it will open something like this. Now Microsoft has changed its interface and now we have different sections in here. Along with that, you also have focus assist settings that you can access straight away directly from here. And not only that, Microsoft has changed the design and they have included a background as you can see in here. Other than that, you have a different section for your date and calendar. So that's a really good improvement in terms of the user interface. The other major thing that have been done in terms of the taskbar is if you hover over the search icon of your Windows 11, it shows you all the history that you have searched in your system till now. Now you can change it. Right click on your taskbar and open the settings. From here, under the taskbar behavior section, we have a new option that says show recent searches when I hover over the search icon. If you uncheck this option and now if you hover over the search icon, you will not see anything about any history in your Windows 11. So that might be a good feature for a lot of people. Other than that, the major update and one of my favorite is if you hover over the volume icon in your Windows 11 and now if you move the wheel of your mouse, it will increase or decrease the volume. This feature does not work from the touchpad of your laptop. You should have your mouse attached with your system and only then you will be able to access and use this feature. Now I will talk about some of the updates that have been done in terms of the settings of Windows 11. So first of all, Microsoft has introduced the Spotlight collection. Well, basically, it is a new feature that will change the desktop background automatically with different pictures around the world. If I go into my personalization section and here I have my background, if you just click on it here, along with your picture, we have one more option that says spotlight collection. If you just click on it now, your system will have new picture for your background every day from different parts of the world. Not only that, if you search for spotlight into your system, 
Here it says change your lock screen background. If you just click on it, here you will also have an option with Windows Spotlight. Now it will again do the same thing by having different backgrounds every day. The other major update that has been done on your sound section. Go to your sound section from your system into your settings and in here you will see a warning when a microphone access have been restricted in your privacy setting and that will be under the input section. Earlier we do not used to have this kind of warning message but now they have included it for your ease. The other update that have been done is related to printers and scanners. Go to your Bluetooth and devices and from here go to your printers and scanner. Well now Microsoft has updated it and now they show you more details about your printers and scanner. Earlier this was not available as we have some more information now. One of my favorite updates that have been done is related to apps and features. If you go to your apps, earlier this section was called as apps and features but now they have divided it into installed apps and advanced app settings. If you click on your installed apps, you will have your apps that are installed into your Windows 11 and along with that you have some of the layout options. First one is the default one which is the list view obviously and the second one is the grid view and the last one is the tile view. You can go with any one as per your liking. I'm okay with the list view so I'll go back with it and if you go back here we have advanced app settings. Earlier both of these were used to be into the single category known as apps and features. I'll go to my advanced app settings and from here you can do a lot of things related to your apps. One more update in terms of setting is now on my find device page for that I need to go to my privacy and security and here we have find my device section. Well now they have included some of the links that will help you to learn more about the privacy resources of your Windows 11. For example, I want to know about privacy dashboard in terms of my find my device feature. Just click on it, it will open a web page for you. And that web page will include all the information related to that particular link in terms of find my device feature. The last thing related to the updates of setting is start menu layout. Well, if I click on my start menu button, here you can see we have some of the pinned apps and down here we have some of the recommended ones. Now Microsoft has allowed you to have different kind of layout for your apps. Go to your personalization section into your settings and from here go to your start option. Here you can see you have three options. This is the default one and here you have more pins app. It means most of the app that will be shown will be the pinned one and only some of them will be the recommended one. And if you want to go with the more recommendations, go with the third option. You can also go with the default options as well. Earlier, this layout option was not available. One major update that has been done is related to the file manager and its legacy menus. Let me open my file manager. And now if I right click on any of the file or any of the folder, and if I go to my show more options, Microsoft has changed its interface. Now they have included more padding and the highlight is light or dark as you can see. As I'm moving my cursor, the highlight is light or dark in color. Earlier, it used to be in blue color, but now they have matched it with the theme of your Windows 11. At the end, I will talk about some of the updates that have been done in terms of Microsoft Teams. So I will just search for Teams here. I will just open it and now I will start a meeting in my teams here. So as soon as you start your meeting, at the taskbar you will have an icon of mic. It will allow you to mute your mic for your Microsoft Teams meeting. And not only that, if I open any of my application in here and now if you hover over them, you will have an option to share your open application directly into your Microsoft Teams meeting. At the end, I will talk about some of the drawbacks or you can say some of the things that should be added in Windows 22 H2 update. First one is you cannot drag and drop your applications from one application to another application. Like if I drag and drop my file into any other application from one application, I cannot do that. This was available in Windows 10, but we hope to see this feature in Windows 11 with 22 H2 update. The other drawback or other improvement that should be done in Windows 22 H2 update is 
we cannot pin any of the application at our taskbar by just dragging them onto our taskbar. For example, if I drag my Camtasia and if I drop it onto my taskbar, it will not get pinned. So Microsoft should look into it and work on it. And with that, we are done with almost every feature that we might see and will see in the Windows 11 22 H2 update. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.